snart så är det dags igen. Grand National Roadster Show i Pomona utanför Los Angeles. Och jag är inte där. Men jag var det för några år sedan så jag tänkte att eh, vi åker tillbaka dit nu. Och tittar på en och annan riktigt skön hot rod. Och street rod. Och några riktiga legendarer inom bilbyggande också. My name is John Buck. I'm the producer of the Grand National Roadster Show, which is the longest running indoor car show in the world. It's an incredible event of hot rods, custom cars, motorcycles, as well as uh, thousands of, of, of other uh, vehicle enthusiasts, cars and, and vendors and pinstripers. And anyone can register for the show. If it's, as long as it's pre-73, we like to keep it American Classics. And we are just, uh, excited that we can get them all together in one location here, both inside the buildings and outside the buildings on Saturday and Sunday. 550 cars inside, another thousand cars will be outside. That's part of the deal, man. Just like... <laughs> <laughs> Builders such as Roy Brizio, Street Rods, uh, Dominator, uh, Hot Rods and Hobbies. Um, we've got uh, James Hetfield from Metallica, who is a very famous uh, rock and roll band. Uh, has a car in there. Um, you name it, they're all in there. The history of this car, it went like this. Uh, the owner, James, bought a 48 Jag Salon, a four-door. Wanted to customize it. We got the car back to the shop. After several months, we started getting the paint off, investigating the car more. Uh, there was a substantial amount of rust, but the rust could have been repaired. But overall, the car was very flimsy. Structurally, it didn't feel right. So we sold the body completely, and we took the frame, modified the frame. And James and I had a car like this in our heads for years. We wanted to do a concept-looking car that was from the 30s, that was very Art Deco, but that was a fastback. I did most of the styling along with James. He was as hands-on as he could be with being busy. Uh, but he was there every step of the way. I did the styling and we persuaded Marcel to do the sheet metal work. There's nobody more badass than Marcel DeLay. All of the brass you see on this, that's brass colored with the exception of the grill shell, the grill surround, the hubcaps and the beauty ring, those are the only things that were brass plated. Everything else is real brass, was polished, and then uh, put a flattener in the clear and covered it. Anybody who knows me and looks at the history of my cars, I've always been influenced by the French builders and Fagoni and Falashi, Delage, all those guys. But to be able to do a car like this with Marcel brought the whole custom thing to another level. This is, I think, our eighth car James and I have built together. He drives all of them. There's a few that he drives less, but for the most part, he drives all of them. He, I mean, James drives his cars hard. If you live in Northern California and you get out on the freeways, at some point, you're probably gonna bump into James Hetfield. He might be flying by you doing 100, but you're gonna see him at some point. I don't think this car will be any different. So I try to do all of the shows, get the car around before we give it to James. This is my 1935 standard Chevrolet Phaeton, which is a four-door roadster. The last year that Chevrolet made a Phaeton in the U.S. was 1935. They made 217 of them, and this is one of them. I've owned this car for about 30 years, and I drove it stock for about 15 years and had it in car shows of stock cars. And I wanted to make it more dependable so I could drive it a long distance, and so I decided to make a hot rod out of it. And, uh, I had Chip Foose help me do the design work and he's the one that made the car a little bit longer and shortened the grill and he had us lean the windshield back which lowered the top and we redid the top and of course it's got all late model chassis, independent front and rear suspension, automatic transmission. The car's got air conditioning and power steering because my wife and I will be touring with it. It's just finished. 
I can't even believe we've got it here. I got a couple other things to do to it yet, but before I start driving it. Temat för Grand National Roads to Show är Century of Speed. Och man har samlat några av de allra snabbaste bilarna som någonsin har rullat på jordens yta. Bilen här bakom, ja, bil och bil, eh, flygplan utan vingar om du frågar mig, det är det snabbaste fordon på land någonsin. Men in i byggnaden in till här, där finns det en massa bilar som inte bara är ruskigt snabba utan också ruskigt coola. Vi går in och tittar en sväng. My name is Jeff Brock and I'm uh, from Rockethead Studio near Santa Fe, New Mexico in Española. And uh, I'm sitting on my 1952 Buick Super Riviera land speed race car. I was born in the, in the town where this car was built, Flint, Michigan. And though I'm an artist and the aesthetics and the, and the beautiful form and lines of this American classic have always been a favorite of mine. So I had the car for a year before I decided to do it. It's not your average choice. It's not a good choice for land speed racing, but it was a it was a sentimental journey for me. We are now uh, topping out at, at at about 5,500 RPM on the dyno. We're producing 340 horse. This is a big car. This is not your average car you see at Bonneville. So with our stubbornness to run the Buick engine and our, you know, thrill to do it, we we really are tapping this whole system out. You know, we need we would love to have more horsepower, but we're running naturally aspirated and we're running with a 1950 engine. So uh, at 340 horsepower, we're exiting at about 170. And we built this car in three months. Thanks, sure. Happy to. Ran the car for the first time in 2009 and got the class record at 130. But since then, every year, we've bumped that record at least once a year. We have six records with her now, and her uh, record for the measured mile, the average through the mile twice, uh, is 165.7. The one thing that we haven't done uh, uh, that we'd like to try and apply if we have time is to do a tri-y exhaust system and get the exhaust out of the portholes. I hate to do it, but it really is a wind resistance reality. So we're going to try and find a route for the exhaust this year and put a tri-y on there and try and tap into maybe 8 to 10 percent more horsepower because that's where we are. We've done all we can do to this car to to um, we've chased a lot of different aerodynamic ideas and we put windows in it, we put foils on it, we put a strake on it, we got a belly pan on it and it's it's really we're kind of at the end of the the road with the amount of horsepower and the amount of car we've got to push. So we'll we'll add that modification this year and uh, see if we can't get the get the record up a little. I'll let you. Huh? I'll let you. <laughs> no, I like to meet people and I like to talk to people about custom cars. That's what I do. I want to make sure that that I, I've always liked to make things fairly simple and smooth. You know, I don't like to put on a lot of extra things and, and do extra shapes. I like to keep it down to a nice smooth. I like things to flow, and that's that's kind of my style. I have the Jade Idol 2 outside. Brought that one down. Last year I chopped 17 cars in 17. Two at my place, one in Australia, one in Canada, and all over U.S. Now coming up next next month, uh, February and March, nine weeks in a row, different city, chop a top again. Nine you still more. think it's as fun as the first time yeah, you did it? Yeah, I'm just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. Every day is a school day. One of my favorite expressions. Every day is a school yeah. day. You learn something all the time. It's just a, it's just a, an ongoing thing, you know. 
I like to say that each customer with a car, they create a statement. They, they do a statement with their car. And so each and every car is different. And they try to outdo the other guy. And so that's all part of it. It's just a lot of fun. But why do you keep on doing it? Because I like it. It's my life. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.